Hello guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a gouache brush using a default brush from Procreate. As you can see in this drawing, this brush has a rough and gritty texture, making it kind of like a rough gouache brush, or even like a thick oil pastel brush. If you like the look of this, please keep on watching and follow along. Before we get started, I just want to show you guys how a default gouache brush looks like in Procreate. As you can see, it's kind of a thin wash. So I want to create a brush that's a little bit more thick and rough in texture. So what we're going to do is now go into sketching and take the oil pastel brush and we're going to duplicate it. We're going to use this as the base of our new brush. So when we go into the brush studio, we can change the name of the brush. I'm going to name it Gouache Rough. You can also change the name of the author, so you can put down your name here. Now we're going to go into grain and change the grain source. We go into edit and then go to import source library and then we are going to do a search. We're going to search for a charcoal burnt. So I'm just going to type that in and select that. Done. Then we're going to change the scale to about 30%. Afterwards, we go into shape and we are going to change the shape source. So go into edit, import, source library. And we're going to scroll all the way down until we find a acrylic stamp six. There it is. Done. I am now testing out the swatches on the side and seeing that it will need to have 20% more scatter and about 3 for count. And we go into taper now and I'm just going to fix both sides so it has a little bit more taper. Yeah, that's about right. And then we're going to go into Apple Pencil and then fix the size to about 60%. And then when we scroll down, we can see that the bleed is about 19%. But I want to change that a bit because as you can see, it's kind of... Um, bleeding a little too much in my opinion, so I am going to bring that, that down to about 3%. At this point, I think we should go into properties and bring down the size of the brush to about 400%. This will be a lot more easier to work with. Now, we go into color dynamics and I'm just going to select a color and just test it out. And I'm going to make the hue 3% and saturation to about 15%. That looks okay. Now we can just test it out. So at this point, I'm quite happy with how this brush has turned out. It is thick and rough like how I wanted it to be and of course if you want it to be a little bit more thinner you can adjust the settings to fit your needs. And if you want to make the drawing a little more clean without those rough edges you can bring down the size of the brush and draw cute items like these. 
If you guys have enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe as I will be posting more videos around both digital and traditional art. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye!